Howdy everybody, how we doing? It's your favorite trainer with the belt buckle here at our La Jolla location. We're gonna give you a live sneak peek to what it's like to become a certified, qualified personal trainer. It's where great trainers are made. And this warm up is advanced, hitting those 10 checkpoints of movement. And I'm also going over some PNF stretching, all things that we have within the online platform. If you cannot come down to San Diego or Los Angeles, we have weekend seminars. We're online. If you want to become a qualified personal trainer, you got to show up. Have a great day. I'm going to go over a fun little warm up. You're with me. So, 10 checkpoints of movement, starting with the most distal ankle, knee, hip, posterior side, lumbar, thoracic neck, shoulder, elbow, wrist, and then breathing with the diaphragm. And so lots of variations that we can do for well, my favorite to do is to get my client in front of me into an athletic position. An athletic position is just like that, shoulders, hands straight out, and then to give some perturbations. And when we give perturbations, the biggest thing that I see, people go like this. You give a gradual contraction. So he's driving rotation wise to me. I'm giving him, and we hold that for a good three to five seconds. And then you're going to come over here. You come here and here. And then I like to walk around. And this is stabilizing those joints. Great, simple warm up. This would be like the second one that I do with most of my clients. Day one, I always do these back here, and then I'm gonna go check off the bottom, do that for three to five reps. But I always like to show new exercises and see if I can stump these young studs. So my goal is to show him something he's never done before. So I want you to pretend like we are on an asteroid, and you have to get on that sucker and hold on for your life, otherwise, you're gonna fall off and you're gonna be swept into the universe. So you have two sticks, all right? These suckers are your spears. This is the asteroid. So you're gonna lay on the ground and you pretend like that's the asteroid and you have to spear yourself onto it and hold. You don't wanna get sucked off. So you're gonna be laying down, face down. There you go. So you're gonna put those straight ahead of you. Oh. Yep, so put them like this. That's what I'm talking about right there. So you're going to fully extend out there and you have to hang on for your life driving down into the dowel and the pipe. Now what we're going to do is we're going to play around and we're not, we'll do with each other, but don't let me take you off. There we go. Don't let me take you off. Don't let me take your foot off. Don't let me take your foot off. Come on, don't let me take you off. You got to hold on for your life. You got to hold on for your life. Now relax this one. Let it come up, hold there. Don't let me, don't let me push you. Don't let me push you. I'm a, I'm a. Drive against me, drive against me. Five, four, three, two, one. Don't let me take it. Come on, five, four, three, two, one, and good. Have you ever done that before? Ha! <laughs> Victory, Chris. Now I want everyone else to go. Who's next? Paige, you're the trainer. Go with her. Your, your lads? Uh-huh. Yeah, you're the trainer now. And then she's going to go with Corinne, and you'll go with Nellie. And this is also a great variation. You can stay right there for a second. If you move to the side tile, I want to show. This is also a great shoulder flexion test that you can do. So in this position, put your head down. That's, that's kind of on cover. You usually have a mat there for it, but I would drive into the ground as hard as you can. This is a good little PNF exercise. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Now I want you to raise it as high as you can. So looking at where the stick is from that angle, from that angle, take a mental note. 
Right there. Now drive it down to the ground again as hard as you can. Hard, hard, hard. Relax, go up. So you're gonna see it start to get more range of motion. One more time. Drive, 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 drive. Relax, go up. So what you're doing here is you're playing with, they call this croc. Contract, relax, agonist sometimes, or contract, relax, agonist. Antagonist, agonist. So when you drive into it, your agonist is firing. So when you relax, you're going to get more of a stretch. If you have clients who have shoulder issues, it's a great little drill to do. The regression that I would have you do is get a stability ball and actually brace yourself in that position and do it. But you could also do it here. All right, you're the trainer. You're up. You're the client. 